got a nine in literature. I've got a nine in everything except science. Plenty of emotion, smiles and relief. The results are in and after terms of turmoil, they've done it. Because of the pandemic and all, we just missed a lot of stuff and thank God we had some advanced information to help us in some places. I'm happy with this. Happy with this. I wasn't expecting it, but we pulled through. <laughs> It's been so hard. We've been um, missing out on so much learning, so it took a while to like get back on track, but yeah, we got there. To help them get there, GCSE students were given extra exam information. And here at Sir Herbert Leon Academy in Bletchley, they turbocharged the timetable. We have a superb staff body here who worked weekends through the holidays, evenings as additional for the children when they could to make sure that they didn't miss any content. Um, and I'm very proud of our staff and children. And it's all paid off today? Certainly has. I couldn't be prouder. Those children deserve every success. Results were higher than average, but lower than the last two years when Covid cancelled exams. No real surprises with this year's GCSE results, but there is a lot of concern about regional differences and the fact children in London and the South continue to do better than children in the North. For example, in London, 32.6% of results awarded were the top grades, compared to 22.4% in the North East and Yorkshire and the Humber. Leaders in the north say this deepening divide must be fixed. What we've seen today is really concerning. We've now got a 10% gap between the highest grades at GCSE between north and south. Um, and that covers not just the northern regions, actually, but also is replicated in the Midlands as well, that have all fallen back around 2% compared to where they were um, before the pandemic. The government insists it is a priority. We know at the moment in too many parts of our country it, it isn't equal and it isn't fair. That's why we've got the uh, education investment and improvement areas, uh, 55 of those around the country. It's making a difference. But we have been set back by the pandemic. Covid caused huge disruption for all students. But for many, it's left a legacy of academic inequality and gaps that will be hard to close. Laura Bundock, Sky News, Bletchley.